To the President of Fiji Muslim League, to invited guests, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I have an old Chinese proverb for Sadar Saib and the loss of his shoes. You are now closer to the ground. Bulavinaka to all of you and a, and a very, very good evening to, to all of you that are here. I'm actually indeed very delighted to be here today um, at the Fiji Muslim League 90th anniversary celebrations here in Nandi. Ladies and gentlemen, this is truly an opportunity for us all to share our thoughts, our history, appreciation and words of blessings in the honor of the late founders and forefathers of the Fiji Muslim League. These were founders who toiled and braved the hot sun and heavy rain and who walked miles barefoot and rode on horses from the time of the Girmit to bring Fiji Muslim League to what it is today. Ladies and gentlemen, I urge you all to cherish that in your hearts and cherish that those founders' visions of the League, which is to uphold Islamic values for a just society in quest of an something called Amar Bilmaro and Nahia and improving the quality of the life of the Ummah through Dawa and economic enterprise and Zakat. With the inception and the adoption of the new Muslim League constitution in 1956, Fiji Muslim League has come a long way and has greatly contributed to Fiji's economic well-being and development, and, in, and of course, in nation building. And this has resulted in increase in establishment of new primary schools and secondary schools, and hostels for boys and girls, and to cater for the needs of the poor and the needy, and the establishment of vocational centers and homes for the destitute. Ladies and gentlemen, just last, just the weekend past, we celebrated Fiji Day, and there was a theme that was part of Fiji Day that's very applicable. And that theme was moving Fijians forward in unity. And it's quite important to remember that, because in the new Fiji, every, every member of our society is a part of our journey forward, and that includes all of us as Muslims. And that also it includes those of us who reside in isolated and rural communities, maritime areas, and those who are most vulnerable, being women, children, the elderly, the infirm, and the disabled. I know for a fact that the Fiji Muslim League has been actively involved in assisting those that I've just mentioned. Ladies and gentlemen, the strength of the Fijian people has undoubtedly been tested over the past year. But the same spirit of camaraderie and unity that we can celebrate after our rugby victory, we also must realize that that is the same spirit that carried us through the cyclone. And I say all these things today because I know for a fact that Fiji Muslim League took an active part in the rebuilding of our nation. And it is commendable to our president then who decided to take that particular path. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to share with you also some of the successful projects that the FML had undertaken and has, uh, where all Fijians have benefited. And these are the Fiji Muslim League Nandi Medical Center, the Nandi Muslim College Science Lab, 
the Suvu Muslim College Science Lab, the Islamic Institute of the South Pacific, and the Women's Vocational Center, to name a few. And not only does such initiatives enhance and enhance education in our society, it also provides employment opportunities within the community. And we must not forget that the Fiji Muslim League has also contributed not just to Fiji, but to the Pacific region by virtue of the Islamic Institute of the South Pacific, which is home to five students from PNG and one from Vanuatu, and the Fatima Girls Hostel that has students from PNG also, and from Kiribati and two from the Solomon Islands. And the FML has also offered scholarships to students from New Caledonia. At this time also, ladies and gentlemen, it's very important to remember that when we think of the Fiji Muslim League, we must not forget how much of a part that our women have taken in the building of our nation and also in Fiji Muslim League. A lot of the women that have passed on, including my own mother, it is a day like this that I remember them and I thank Allah for having such people within us and among us that have created a path for all of us to be here and for all of us to be proud of the Fiji Muslim League. We also need to look far to gauge the success of Fiji Muslim League. The Fiji Muslim League has not only contributed to the development of our economy, but also to the development of the Pacific region, as I said earlier. And I urge you all, all of you participants, especially you, all of you that benefit from football, to think of the Fiji Muslim League not just as somewhere you can come and play football and enjoy it, but we have certainly united ourselves through the Fiji Muslim League with so many countries around the world through FANCA. And I welcome all of you guests from FANCA here today, all of you footballers, having been one of you previously. But I must take my hat off to all of those that have come before us. And I take my hat off to the current uh, executives that come from, uh, executives from Fiji Muslim League who have done a wonderful and tremendous job to keep up the traditions of before and to always remember that as Muslims, we don't just unite amongst ourselves. You unite yourself within the country that you live in. This particular country has moved on and had successful development in the last couple of years. We've had so much of it, we intend to grow. And you need to be part of that growth, not just as a Muslim community, but just as a part of a whole country. And this is why I mentioned the words that moving Fijians forward in unity. Our constitution enshrines a lot of those things, and I urge you all, that some of you that haven't read it, to ensure that you do. Because that is a principle that we must believe in, that is a principle that Islam teaches us, and that is a principle that I know for a fact my father taught me. And I urge you all again, once again, to enjoy the day, and I wish you all well. And congratulations to Fiji Muslim League on the 90th anniversary. And I wish all the footballers well for the week ahead. Thank you very much. Finak Varkadu. Salam alaikum.